Welcome back, patriots. Welcome to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world come in defense of liberty. I'm your host, Bill Bailey. So folks, as if things aren't dire already, just yesterday, a United States four-star general predicts war with China within two years, just 24 months. It's over at the Daily Mail. U.S. four-star general predicts war with China in two years as he issues chilling memo to Air Force wing commanders to fire a clip at a target and aim for the head to prepare. The ominous warning was delivered Friday in a memo from four-star Air Force General Mike Minahan, who oversees its fleet of transport and refueling aircraft, sent to roughly 107,000 under his command, the official correspondence, warns of the rising Chinese threat and instructs soldiers to prepare for the conflict. The message is the most dramatic yet from a military officer of the looming likelihood of a war over Taiwan, a crucial choke point in the South China Sea that is a strategic interest to both Beijing and Washington. Here's the memo. I just want to read the, uh, uh, the first bullet point. Situation. I hope I am wrong. My gut tells me we will fight in 2025. We secured his third term and has set his war council in October of 2022. Taiwan's presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer we a reason. United States presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer we a distracted America. We's team reason an opportunity are all aligned for 2025. We spend 2022 setting the foundation for victory. We will spend 2023 in crisp operational motion building on that foundation. If you want to know what the operation motion I demand looks like, look at what total force team Charleston, Charleston did in January. I will tell you this folks, we shouldn't be involved in the Ukraine war because the, our number one geopolitical enemy is the CCP. And as well, we're draining our weapons, um, our munitions, our cash, dumping it in Ukraine and we're not replenishing it quick enough and when we do it just goes to Ukraine. We have nothing. He's this um, treasonous bastard that's pretending to be our president, that left 80 billion of our state-of-the-art war equipment to our enemy when we pulled out of Afghanistan, that's draining the strategic oil reserve. And my understanding, don't know if it's true, was selling it through a company his son was once involved in or is to the CCP as we were paying $5 a gallon, you know, he lied to us. Said, I'm gonna drain the strategic oil reserve and run down American fuel prices, when in fact it was being sold to China. It's frightening, folks. It's frightening times that, that we're living in. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know any nice, nice way to say it. Um, we need to be aware of what's going on in our world. We can't change this stuff. We're gonna have little impact on it but knowledge is power. So my advice is to keep prepping and keep praying. Folks, let me know what you think in the comments section below and please subscribe, like, and share this video. May God bless you all and keep you all safe. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.